Good morning, Greater Mount Moriah, church family, and friends. I am honored and humbled to share my future endeavors with you all. First and foremost, I would like to thank God for keeping each and every one through this ongoing pandemic. And I ask that he continues to watch over each and every one of us. To begin, I am a recent graduate from Clark Atlanta University with a degree in biology and on the path to become your future physician. When I look over my college years, I remember those experiences that has heightened my reasoning to become a physician. Those would include research all four years at Clark Atlanta University, studying abroad my freshman year during winter break, mentoring youth under the organization, The Beauty of the Butterfly Inc., and most recently, visiting a senior citizen's rehabilitation center before the pandemic occurred. Here's a glimpse of what my four years were about. of lab assistant Elira and PI Dr. Bowen, our main focus was prostate cancer with an emphasis on African-American males. My lab members and I would work to understand a specific gene's function in relation to prostate cancer. With collaboration from other students in the lab, I began to wonder how amazing would it be to help aid in slowing down prostate cancer or even curing it. This research experience freshman year led me further on my pursuits to learn about medicine abroad. With my church family's help, I was able to learn about medicine in Genoa, Italy, at the Children's Hospital, known as Instituto Gianni Gasolini, in the Nephrology and Pediatric Unit, where I was immersed in their culture and learned the benefits and disadvantages of a free healthcare system. I am truly blessed for this experience. With my collegiate career ending so abrupt, I would be remiss if I didn't say that it has changed my daily routine. Before this pandemic, I relied on everyday life to occur the way it has since my existence on this earth. And that I thought I would have senior week with my family and my friends gathering to commence my collegiate career ending. However, these past months have showcased something completely different. Instead, I was reminded of God's work and that I was not prepared for what occurred, as other people across the world weren't either. But we had to change the way we knew life to be. Through these times, I look upon Jeremiah, 29th chapter, 11th verse. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good. As my journey continues of becoming a physician, I diligently work towards this goal each day. While working on my application, for medical schools, I am gracious and blessed to have help from my church family and other family members with my personal statement and medical school applications. I ask that I am in everyone's prayers as I go through this journey. I leave you all with this scripture. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Thank you, church. Blessings.